With weekend edition preparations are underway for the ninth annual Governor's Tourism Cup Golf Tournament. The event is sponsored by the Guam Hotel and Restaurant Association, the Guam Visitors Bureau, and United Continental Airlines. The event proceeds go to Guam's public safety and law enforcement agencies. Joining me in studio to tell us more about the event is Acting Governor Ray Tenorio, GHRA President Mary Torrey, and Acting Fire Chief Joey C. Nicholas. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much. All right, so. Tell us about this upcoming event. Where is it and, and when will it be held? Sure. It's um, in November, November 19th and 20th at the Country Club of the Pacific. Um, we have uh, three formats and we have a two-day tourney which is traditional with the tournament. It's one of the only one of two uh, two-day tournaments that actually take you on to an additional tournament. So we partner together with uh, Tournament of Champions and those winners play in Saipan. Um, so that's the two-day tournament and then on Saturday we have a one-day Callaway and then on Sunday we've added a two-man best ball. So the three formats it really targets any type of golfer, whether you're a beginner or you've been playing a long time. And I understand you can play either one day or both. That's of the correct. Days. Yes. Okay. Um, so who who all is invited or involved gets involved with this annual tournament? Well, we have all of our sponsors, of course, and the industry stakeholders. We work together with GVB and, of course, the government of Guam. Um, we actually have a special category where we have a Guam Police Department and Guam Fire Department um, cup where they compete um, for bragging rights and it's a traveling trophy. We started that last year um, because the proceeds goes towards those two agencies. So it's a fun tournament and the public is invited. Uh, we definitely want people to come out and support. Uh, this is the first tournament uh, in this new administration and so we're setting the bar by already identifying where the money's going but we want to make sure everybody comes out. We want to fill all slots at CCP on both days. All right, and the cost for anyone that wants to participate? Sure. The two-day tournament is $180, and then the one-day Callaway on Saturday is $125, and the two-man best ball is the same price. It's two. It's 250 for two people, so it's essentially the same thing. Um, again, it's an afternoon tea time at 12, uh, so uh, people will have their full day, and then we end, we cap it off with a banquet at the Outrigger Guam Resort. And um, on both days, we have lunch being served by Chili's and Lone Star. All right. And uh, Acting Governor, obviously these partnerships uh, help make the community stronger. Tell us about some of the things that the proceeds will be uh, purchasing or going towards with the government. Well, I want to thank the Guam Hotel and Restaurant Association and all the partners. And I really ask the people to come out and assist. Uh, Governor Calvin and I are committed to support public safety as we always have been. And, and this year, I'm very happy to announce that the uh, ambulance will be bought with the proceeds. And so we really need the support and sponsorship of the people of Guam. And of course, I want to thank you for giving the opportunity to get the word out here because Mary Tory and uh, you know all the governor's office and everyone is going to try to get out there. But we really need the support of the community so thank you very much for the opportunity to get the word out here all right ambulance is definitely a need for the fire department uh fire chief tell us about what uh, this would mean, I guess, for the department. How many ambulances are we seeking with this? Uh, well, well, first of all, you know, on behalf of the Guam Fire Department, I'd like to say thank you, of course, to Mary Tory Guam Hotel Restaurant Association, who over the past nine years has has supported the Guam Fire Department with purchasing jet skis and equipment and such. And this particular year, going towards uh, purchasing an ambulance is, is very huge for us. And uh, though we're, we're getting a steady stream of ambulances uh, with the commitment of the of the this administration, uh, this this particular avenue is a big big help towards it, and uh, you know ultimately the beneficiaries are the people of Guam. All right. Any final comments from the three of you? I just want to say that um, you know these these men and women in the Guam Fire Department have worked very hard, and uh, in, and I'm glad to see that GHRA is stepping up along with our corporate community to help them out because um, we really are one community, and everybody benefits from this. And this ambulance will protect and save the lives of many people. Thank you. All right. And this is just another example of how we as GHRA work together to ensure the safety of our local community as well as our visiting community. And um, by having events like this, we can get everybody involved one way or another to support the same cause. All right. Well, thanks so much again for joining us. Thank you.